and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my kicks, me and my, me and my kicks. What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks. And don't mind the roughness, you know, it, it is what it is. Haven't had time to go to see a barber. But anyways, Clark Street Sports is having like a little exclusive event. And they invited um like all the, you know, hat wearers, hat collectors and stuff to it. So I figured I'd go ahead and pull out my phone and vlog the event, man. So this is that event. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below what's the best hat that you've seen in this video. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, it takes nothing but a couple of seconds, and you'll be notified when I drop future videos. As you can see, behind me is snowing in Chicago. Um, you know, uh, as far as like our weather here, you know, we've had like a pretty warm January, but now winter's coming in full effect. Uh, let me try and turn this camera around so you can see. Yeah, the snow is definitely out today. We probably gonna get a, a few inches or whatever. But anyways, I ain't gonna hold you guys up. I'm gonna go ahead and log the event, see what's going on. Yeah, um, let you meet a couple of the owners and stuff like that. And the fit that I have on today is the Sean Weatherspoon inspired um, Mariners joint. Um, I definitely had this in my top 10 pickups, or hat pickups of 2022. I put that on the side of me so you can check it out. And you know, I'll show you my shoes as I go inside. So let's get to it. what I got on feet got the Sean Wetherspoon 97 ones to match that fitted hat you seen in the video got the Travis Scott lace world hoodie you know little khaki joggers you know some some slight but overall uh, the event looking pretty decent got all the hat people over there about to go ahead and cop a little something right quick we got one of the designers of the hat 19th letter in the building man how, about say, how long you been designing hats Man, I've been designing hats since last year. Last year? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, for, yeah, I made serious strides in a year, right? I about to say, to be, to be uh, almost rookie of the year, you got some uh, nice designs, man. Like, uh, talk more about the um, the match joint. Uh, yeah, this is the Money Making Mitch, inspired by Money Making Mitch from Paid in Full. You know, uh, okay. Rich Porter, you know what I'm saying? That was an inspiration for the character. So, I got the 1986 side hit right here. Okay. Just because, like, the 1986 Mets, they dealt with a lot of cocaine and stuff like that. It just makes sense. Okay. Got the coke white brim, you know what I'm saying? Got the blip right here with okay. the razor clip. Okay. 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 All yeah. right. Yeah. 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 You're going crazy. Yo. Um, yeah, you, and then you got the uh, the front logo right here. It's made to look like a medallion. You know what I'm saying? The Mitchell wear on his chain and everything like that. Metallic gold and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just like a, a relic of the era and everything. You know what I'm saying? The bling era. The dookie rope chains and everything like okay. that. You know? Okay. You know what I'm saying? You really, if you was getting money in the 80s, you would want like a hat like this and everything. You know? Also, um, one thing that I didn't know until he told me when I came to this event, he made this hat as well. So, yeah. you know, shout out to you making the Sean Wetherspoon hat. Yeah. This is the first hat that I could pay retail on, get my right. hands on without oh, having to get all that crazy stuff, man. Right. So, you know, I asked him personally to make a hat after yeah. the Sean, <laughs> uh, after the Chunky Dunky. So hopefully nah, it's, on the, it's, it's on, on the way. It's on the way. It's on the way. Yeah, I got you. Well, I say if anyone want to follow you, man, um, go ahead. Shout out your social media, man. Yeah, my social media is uh, 19th letter underscore. So spell 19th letter, uh, all one word underscore. You'll be able to find me. My website is uh, 19th Letter, all spelled out as one word, 19thletter.com. All right, man. Yep. Well, hey, this is my first time interviewing a, a hat designer, man. <laughs> oh, thank and you. I appreciate you, man. Yeah. And once again, keep going for 2023, man. Oh, uh, thank you, yes, man. Sir. appreciate it. Yep. All right. I got a. Uh, oh, how oh, 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 you want? You want Zach or? Yeah, Zach's right, cool, yeah. Got Zach in the building, man. Uh, What's he going on? He created a lot of these hats that um, people have been buying here, like the one he got on his head. That's yes, the, um, the Chief Keith. Yes, uh, sir. Finally Rich, you know. Yes, sir. I was about to say, what, what was your inspiration behind that? So I used the uh, Chief Keith Finally Rich album. The blue is from the uh, the blue that's in his lighter, actually, on the album, if you're looking at it. 
Uh, and then the gold and silver is just in the is in the album anyway. Okay. Um, but yeah, my main thing was you know Chief Keef is huge in Chicago. He's yes, a huge he Chicago legend. Everything. So, so, yes. so I mean, you know, it was only right that my first aux pack that I did with uh, Clark Street was a Chief Keef hat. So, uh, but yeah, man, I'm really happy to be here. We got a great event going on. And uh, I'm happy my man Aaron popped out <laughs> here, man. It was nice to finally meet him in person. Yeah, but I said we talk about we talk we, with each other on Facebook and Instagram a lot, but you know we never really met yeah. each other in person. But yeah. you're from Cincy, right? Yeah, yeah. What from about Cincinnati, say, yeah. What about say how long you been out in Cincy? Just all your life? Yeah. So uh, I was actually born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. Um, and I moved to Cincinnati about uh, five months ago. Okay. Um, me and my brother got a spot out there and just been doing my thing, man. Just living, you know. So, but I love Cincinnati, man. Um, not as big as Chicago, though, not at all, but um, it's definitely a cool spot. I love my city, but I love it out here, man. I wish I could stay for longer, honestly. So if it's on 2023, you have any um, upcoming hats you could let, let us know about? I, I don't want to ruin the surprise, man. Yeah. You know, I, re I really like to keep my stuff that I just drop it, and it's a shock, you okay. know? Okay, okay. Right. Not, I don't like to give out the details. I mean, I like people to just... I want people to wonder about what's coming, and then I just smack them with whatever I'm dropping. All right, last question. Uh, what's the what's the best hat you designed so far? Man, my best hat, man. This uh, this one, pop, this one, crowd favorite yes, right here yes, for sure. Definitely crowd um, favorite. My favorite personally, I probably say the. We gonna go to it. We gonna yeah, go to it. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, my fault, bro. Can I get right past you real quick? I knew you were going to go yeah. to it, the, the little boat. The little boat, little Yachty Braves. That's probably my favorite that I've done. But I really love this one, too, man. Nice okay. and clean and simple. A little flashy. Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, this one was a classic. I was telling him about this. I like this hat. I just didn't like the logo you was like. If he didn't have the regular A's, I'd have copped this because, like, I really love the y y Yachty album, uh, Little Boat. It's yeah, pretty man. decent, man. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, once again, I appreciate you uh, talking to me, Zach. And, of you course, know, man. And for 2023, I wish you nothing but uh, good luck and um and all your hats sell out. And, and then, you know, you're going to make it when um Energy 334 Yeah, uh, Energy about to start man. copying me, man. Yeah, when, they, when, they, when they copy your hats, that's when you know you made it, man. <laughs> but uh, Zach in the building, man. Yeah, man. Kyle yeah. in the building, man. Uh, about to say, how, how long you been uh, creating hats? Uh, I've been making hats for uh, really about maybe a couple years now. Like, okay, um, what about to say, well, about uh, five years. But I, I really started, like, I've been making hats for about five years, but I really started making fitness and taking it serious like two years ago. Okay, I was about to say, I know you made this one. So, so break down this uh, socks hat for me, man. Go ahead. This, this is the kind, this is socks hat, you know, white socks, 1933 side patch. Okay. In the green. With the white, with the red, and the gold accents, great and, under. And you made this after what? This is based off a of genius Kanye West genius documentary. He on Netflix. A scene in there. Okay. He was doing an interview, and he had on like a Mitchell and Ness, old school Mitchell and Ness jacket. And okay. He had this type of logo on it. Okay. I was about to say, um, he showed me the picture of it, and it was, and, and when, once I seen the picture, I was like, okay, I see the inspiration on that. Like when I saw it, I just to me this like screams out like Black History Month. You got the green, you got mm -hmm. the gold, you got the black and the um, red. It really screamed out Black History. That's why I bought it because they dropped this at the last event as well, man. But uh, I was about to say, um, uh, what's your favorite hat you ever designed? My favorite hat, probably, probably this one. This one? Hatchet. All right. uh, give me the inspiration behind that one, man. This one is inspired one of my a book I read in middle school called Hatchet. Hatchet. And, okay. Yeah, you know it's just taking the cover and putting the flip on the colors. Okay, okay. That's all. Uh, I do remember when that dropped. It, it's definitely a nice release, man. But uh, appreciate it. I'm about to say, but go ahead, shout out your uh, IG and everything one more time. My Instagram is E-I-N-K-Y-L-E. E -I -N -K -Y -L -E. 
All right, man. Well, you know, I hope nothing for the best for 2023. Your next hat I'll release, hopefully, when they drop it, sell out, Energy 334 copies it down the line. Because you know, sure. that's when you know you did it. When somebody copying your hats, that's when you know you lit, man. Appreciate it. Got the world famous Jaime in the building, man. What's How you up? doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, fam. I'm good, I'm good. What about I say, what's your role with um, Clark Street? Are you like the owner or are you like, or are you just like the main designer? Like, what, what, what you do here? Um, I'm in charge of the designers, so I, okay. you know, everything goes through me. Okay. Um, well, about I say, how long you been doing it? I've been collecting for, man, for mad years, man, but like, I came here one day and, you know, I do a little bit of consulting and I'm in the apparel industry. Okay. So they just gave me the opportunity and we just, we just flew with it. Okay. Well, about I say, um, uh, explain, explain the hat you got on today. Give me some details on it, man. Oh, uh, so this was done by Sergio Scott, 19th letter. So he has a Rolex. Okay. Yeah, I can't afford one. Exactly. Exactly. But he did it off his Rolex. And it just so happened there was like the 50 year anniversary okay. as, as the company itself. So it, it, it just makes it sense. Made sense. Um, shout outs to uh, 113. Okay. 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 And, That's and, the time. That, the 113 sent this. Yeah. Okay. The blip and it was just. It was just perfect, perfect match. Yeah, I mean that's definitely a clean one. Yeah. Uh, I'm about to say, um, hopefully, hopefully get a chance to copy today. I mean, you yeah, know, maybe, maybe, sure. maybe, but I'm about to say, um, anyways, um, uh, this is your second event, man. You know, and I went to the first one. It's definitely a success, man. Yeah. Second one, what you, how you think about the second one? What you think about? I love this? it. I love it. I think it was a bigger turnout. Turnout. Um, we're always for the community, so that's why you know we try to give the whole store 50 percent off. Except the new drops. Exactly, exactly. And that's a, as a thank you. You know, a thank you for, for coming out and attending. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I know you're busy, man. I ain't going to hold you up too long, man. But I wish you all well to 2023. And, um, sure. and what's the um, next hat for 2023 that you're looking that you're looking towards um, dropping? Like, what's, like, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, a, give me the scoop on at least one. We got some Diamondbacks. That are, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got some Diamondbacks that are fire. Well, I mean, so well, may, maybe before you leave, I'll give you a sneak peek. Okay. I all appreciate right. you, man. Right. Thank appreciate you. you. Right. Yes, sir. I thought I recorded this already, so I'm going to record it again. But anyways, if you're watching this, this is the end of the vlog. And overall, man, it was definitely a great event. Shout out to Jaime for throwing it. Shout out to the designers I was able to um, interview. You know, 19th Letter, Zach, all y'all, man, appreciate you. But overall, it was a great event once again. Um, as far as, like, hats I cop, I didn't really cop any hats. Honestly, like, this year, I've been just chilling on, like, buying stuff because I, I do spend a lot of money on retail like, you know, shoes, hats, colognes, a lot of stuff. And I really be just been holding back because I really want to, you know, get some real estate next year. And just overall, I want to see if, you know, you know, if I can just do it. You know what I mean? Like, I've been, I be just buying stuff that I always want. Like, I don't even wait. I just go cop it then. And, you know, I really want to, like, kind of get some more self-control in that aspect. So that's like one of my personal goals. But anyways, I didn't get anything, but one of my friends, um, he really wanted the Jackie Robinson hat. So he ended up copying them. So, you know, he got this one. This was the best one out of the two Jackie Robinson hats. So this is definitely a nice cop. Got that, you know, corduroy um, bill. And he also got the you know, black and green and, and um, pink one. I'm not, I wasn't too fond of this one, but overall, definitely a nice cop, but you know, so, you know, so since I was able to go to the event and he bought the hats on his behalf, you know, I didn't feel too empty handed, like going to an event and not buying anything. So because I was able to cop on his behalf. So that really worked out for me. But overall, I didn't really see any hats that really called out to me that um that Royals one that was made after the Rolex watch. That was cool, but it wasn't a must have. Um, the first time he had an event, it was crazy, man. I copped so many hats. I think I copped like seven to eight hats. The, the last event he thrown. So, you know. And man, that was like $400, $500. So after that, man, I've just been chilling. But anyways, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Also comment down below if you attended the event. I appreciate you for watching this video, man. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button. It takes nothing but a couple seconds and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.